Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Now, once you've added an image to your document, you may want to format it. Now, there are many ways to format pictures in Word. So let's first look at how to crop an image. Now, select the image that you want to crop. So this is the image I want to crop. Then the format tab will appear. Here it is. That is the format tab. Then click on crop command. And then these crop handles will appear. Now you can crop out any part of that image that you don't want. So I'll crop mine out a little bit just like that. And then once you're done, click the crop command again and the selection will be cut. Just like that, the image will be cropped. Now you can also crop an image to a shape. So select the image you want to crop, then click on it. Then on the format tab, so the format tab will appear once you've selected the image. Just like that. Hover, click the crop command. Then the drop down arrow, choose crop to shape. Now you can choose whatever shape you want to crop your image to. So let's work with an oval. And as you can see, my image will be turned into an oval. It will be cropped into an oval. Just like that. Now you can also add a border to a picture. It's very easy to add a border to a picture. Now, under the format tab again, click the picture border command. Now that's over here. Then you can choose the color that you want. You can choose the weight of the border. And you can choose whether you want it to be in dashes. Just like this. So let's choose. Um, I'll go with this. Then come back and choose a different color. Like that. And that's how you add page a border to a picture. Just like that. Then we have some options over here. We have corrections. This command, you can use it to sharpen or soften the image to adjust how clear or blurry it is. So you can sharpen or soften for here then you can also increase the brightness or contrast of the image and if you hover over one you can see the preview on your document just like that you can choose whatever you want to work with click on it and it will be updated to your image then we have the color command using this command you can adjust the images saturation the tone and you can also recolor your image so you see uh, if you hover over the options you can see the preview on your document and you can choose whichever you want to work with select it and then it will admit it into your image then we have the artistic effects over here now here you can apply special effects to your image such as pastel watercolor or glowing edges Again, if you just hover on them, you can see the preview on your document. Then select whichever you want, click on it, and your image will change. So I'll select that. Then we have the picture style groups. Now this group contains many different predefined styles that make an image formatting even easier. Now picture styles are designed to pre to frame your image without changing its basic settings or effects. So if I choose this one, you can see it's framing my image. You can choose whichever you want to select it. I think that looks nice. Yeah, and that's how my image will look like. Now, if you plan to email a document that contains pictures, you need to monitor its file size. And large, high-resolution images can cause your document to become very large, which may be very difficult to attach to an email. Now, to compress a picture, select the picture you want to compress. So this is the picture that I want to compress. Then, under form, under the Format tab, click the Compress Pictures command. Then from here, you can choose whether you want to apply only to this picture and also whether you want to delete cropped areas of pictures when you compress this picture. Now, here you can choose your target output, whether you want it in HD, 
to print, to take to the web, to email, or use it as it is, use document resolution. Then once you've made your selection, click OK, and then your image will be compressed.